Greetings, today I'm going to talk about a wholesome cultural anime. If you like vanilla and romance, then this anime is just for you. By the way, this is not a regular anime, so Google and Incognito are your best friends. Before we start the recap, I just want to clarify that the main character doesn't have any voice line. In addition, this anime is based on a game. Although he does not utter any word, his Excalibur will be doing all the work. So, I guess that is an acceptable decision by the anime studio. Moving on, the story begins when he received a phone call from his auntie. She informed him that she is going on an overseas trip with her husband. Due to plot purposes, her daughter, Hazuki, who is his cousin, is staying alone since that is a canon event. <laughs> Although woman is supposedly to be strong and independent in 2024, she is worried because Hazuki is living alone. Therefore, she wants him to take care of her while they are away. It seems like he doesn't have the choice to refuse her. As a result, he will be working as her guardian during the summer holiday. When he went to her home, she opened the door to greet him. It looks like she is tan, and she has those legendary superior gene, which the editor doesn't have. Anyways, he is having a hard time focusing on her face, since her hopes and dreams are staring right at him. Then, she invites him into her home, and she told him that she will prepare lunch for him. During lunch, both of them had a small chat with each other. After they finish their lunch, she wants to bring him to his room. When they are walking up the stair, she is right in front of him, so he is having a hard time looking in front of him. Well, he must be having a very hard time now. Anyhow, after showing him his room, she accidentally brushed his hopes and dreams against his arm. Then, she also accidentally pressed them against him. Well, it is not really her fault, since her gene are too superior. I am so sure that the editor will not have this kind of problem. Moving on, he said something to her, but it is not shown in the anime. I guess he just gave her a formal greeting. <laughs> When she is hanging her melon protectors, he realized that those are bigger than his dream. When she noticed him, he became flustered and quickly looked away. After that, he realized that she is pretty defenseless around him, and he doesn't know that if she is giving him some hints. Well, he knew that he could be cancelled for that, so he is playing it safe for now. You guys should do the same in real life too. One day, when he is passing by her room, he could hurt some royalty-free audio coming from her room. Well, that is not the only thing that is coming in her room. He also noticed that the door is unlocked, and it is slightly open too. Therefore, he knew something fishy is going on, so he must investigate this matter. Who knows what is happening to her, since she sounds very tired, and she might be in trouble. When he looked through the door gap, he found out that she is doing a solo let's play. When he is watching her intense gameplay, his Excalibur has finally become ready for battle. At that moment, he could hear the entire Alabama population cheering for him. So, he entered her room to challenge her dungeon to a battle. She did not see that coming, but she will be coming later. Without saying a single damn word, he immediately explored her dungeon because she has given him the dungeon pass. He did not use any protection when exploring the dungeon because he is a Sigma. In the end, he has given her a lot of fresh homemade protein pie to thank her for exploring her dungeon. You guys can do the same in real life too, since I am doing the same to the editor too for some top 10 funny moments. Oh. <laughs> 
ever since that day, both of them are acting like a couple, and that is very wholesome, ignoring the fact that they are embracing Alabama culture. Wait, that is actually wholesome too. By the way, he advocates gender equality too. So, when she is preparing breakfast for him, he wants to do the same for her too. Therefore, he explored her dungeon like it's a free real estate, and gave her a lot of protein-rich breakfast. You guys can prepare your breakfast the same way too. Then, they continue the protein time at the living room, and she is playing the game of the year, the one and only Bouncing Simulator 2024. When he wants to take a bath, he opened the door and accidentally saw her hopes and dreams in 4K. Once again, not locking door is a canon event. If the door was locked, then the protein time will not happen. Anyways, she does not yell at him or beat the crap out of him. She asked him to wait for a while. Then, she allows him to enter the bathroom. It looks like she is wearing a swimsuit, and she wants to help him to wash his back. Suddenly, she noticed that something is rising, but it is not the shield hero. It is your friendly neighborhood Excalibur man. I guess he is just happy to see her. Anyhow, as the saying goes, any time is protein time, so they are going to carry out the protein time during bath time. She received a lot of fresh organic protein shake in the end, because she deserved it. One day, when she is playing a legit game, she is pretty defenseless. As a result, his Excalibur became ready for battle. So, he informed her that he wants to play a game with her too. The game is called Legends of the Dungeon, so he is exploring her dungeon because that is his main quest. In the end, he saw, he came, and he conquered the dungeon. She is a pro in multitasking, since she can play two games at the same time. Moving on, she is doing her homework, so she couldn't do the protein time with him. When he heard that, he suddenly has an idea. In order to boost her efficiency, he is going to carry out the protein time with her while she is doing her homework. Damn, these Asian studying methods are getting out of hand. Despite that, his idea is a failure since she couldn't focus on her homework at all. Well, at least he tried. It's the thought that counts anyway. <laughs> One day, her neighbor came to deliver some vegetables to her. He looks like a typical character in NTR anime. Well, this is not an NTR anime, so there is nothing to worry about. When she is talking to that guy, he is exploring her dungeon because he likes to live life dangerously. Fortunately, their protein time was not found out. Oh. Then, she brought him to the rooftop, since she wants to do the protein time there. I guess she wants to get some vitamin D and D at the same time. Anyways, it seems like both of them kept doing the protein time all the damn time. In the evening, they even did the protein time outside her home. I have no idea why did they choose their out of all places. Their gameplay could get recorded by someone, and they could get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend or NordVPN. Anyhow, she assured him that no one will be coming here except them. Therefore, he is exploring her dungeon without any care in the world. Hmm? At night time, she suddenly came to his room and asked him if she could sleep with him together. I guess she is afraid or something. Well, it looks like she is afraid that she couldn't get enough protein for her daily intake. Therefore, she wants to carry out the protein time with him again. At this point, I guess he is going to pay child support sooner or later. However, due to anime bullshit, he is safe and he doesn't need to get the milk. By the way, after a year, the summer break is here again, so he went to visit her. His auntie is very happy to see him. It looks like she doesn't know that he is Hazuki's personal protein supplier. Anyhow, she is very happy to see him too, since she is going to receive a lot of farm fresh homemade protein shake from him. Thus, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime only has two episodes. As I stated before, this anime is based on a game. Unlike Bouncing Simulator 2024, you can actually get this game on Steam. These are the comments and feedback for this anime from a cultural website.
So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation of this anime? Let me know in the comment section below after you watched it alone, or with your families.